Hey YouTube viewers, today I'm going to show you how to fix the action replay DSi white screen red screen of death with the USB cable. And you have to have a laptop for this. Some of them, some people say that you have to take it apart or press certain buttons like A, B, and search select, but that will mess it up more. Okay, look. Look, I'm going to show you that mine is on a white screen right now. It'll it'll say Game and Watch Collection. What is that? It just stops on a white screen. You have to have the USB cable for this. You do. And this this software update, yes, it is an update. Software update. You have to download it from your computer and it'll automatically update it to your action replay. It only works for this version, 1.4 point 1.4.5U. Okay, I'm gonna play you through this step by step on where, on what, what website you get it on. I'm gonna play you through this. Okay, first of all, I use Google, but you can use whatever web browser you want. Then you type in Code Junkies and you search. It should come up to right here. See, look, I type Code Junkies. You click the first one. Code Junkies cheat codes for PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. Yes, this is tested, and it does work. I've tried it. You click that, and it'll take you to this page. You click US and Canada. Then it'll take you to this page. You go up. There's a button that says support. Well, not a button, but a something that says support you click that then it should take you to this code junkies technical support you go to the first box here and put in DSI good now once you've done that it should it should come up properly look. so there's a list the second one down look you need the second the second one from the top you need this one. this one look oh I'll click it you need this one the date on it is 2203 2013 that's the one you click you click on that it should take you to this one set when it takes you to that you go down to here and there will be something that says you go down until you see something that says download and it'll say something action replay DSI firmware update 1.4.5 1. 1. yes this does work then well then you connect your action replay using the cable to your your computer I I don't have my cable I lost it but this does work I've tried it before I would fix it if I had my cable but I don't anymore so you connect it to there connect it to there oh my God. then you click you click on the firmware update what click on that it should go ahead and start downloading. You click on the left thing, you press open when done. It doesn't really take that long for me. Depends on what computer you have. Okay, it should open and it should take you to your to the screen and the only thing on there will say ARDSI dash firmware update dash one point four one point four point five. Click it. Oh yeah and it should say application. You click it Oh, 
open it. <sighs> My computer is kind of slow, so this won't take very long, though. You once it's done downloading and it takes you to that page, you click it, you open it. You press open and it'll come up to this. You press run. After you've done that, it'll probably say this the Java update thingy. You press yes. It says. As long as it says program name and then ARDSI firmware update dash 1.4.5 exe, press yes. And it should it should be starting up. It should just come up to this page. Press next. Press next. Wait. Press next, next. Yep. You want to create a desktop I icon that makes it a lot easier to get to. Then, after you press all the way that you can go to next, you press install. See, I've installed it before, so... So it doesn't take me that long. And then... Then it should, when it says completing DSI compatible firmware update setup wizard, and then it, at the bottom it should say finish. But don't press that yet. There should be a little box right here. You click that first, where it says launch DSI compatible action replay firmware update. Then you press finish. Okay, this is the part where I can't, where I can walk you through it, but I can't actually do it because I don't have the thing. You have to have it connected to this part. This is the part that it goes. Once you connect it, it should start going a line here. And when it gets to the bottom, it shouldn't take that long. It's like five minutes. And then you just let it. You just let it finish. And it should go. You sh it says. It says press the start button to begin. And you press the start button down here. But then you press Then it it'll highlight this updating. Please wait. Do not remove action replay until the process is complete. Then when it highlights the bottom ones, it'll say at your action replay successfully updated. Then you press exit. And then and then that should be all you do. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Like this if you please, if this works, can you like this? If it doesn't work, you can unlike it and comment me about the successes if it fails and you t if you tell me it fails i will find another way okay thanks youtube i will also also i will be putting on how how to find how to get your action replay dsi code manager i will do that too thank you for watching